Oh, I, I love hearing those sheep in, in my headset, little core. That's when I know the action's about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number three in your series between Beastie Cutie and De Muslim. Spawning in on the west side of the map, playing as the Holy Roman Empire in the color red, representing Team Liquid, it is De Muslim. And on the left side of the map, Beastie Cutie is in command of the Delhi Sultanate, leading 2-0 in the color blue. It is match point. If he wins this game, he is going to win the first weekendly event of Road to Volalo Legacy. The first out of the 12 weekendly events. A lot of age vampires to come in here at EGC TV. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you check out the EGC TV Twitch channel because Every single Saturday and Sunday, we're live at 15 GMT with Age Vampires, the weekly events and the monthly events of Road to Volo Legacy. At the end, we're going to have most of the players going to Heidelberg to Red Bull Volo Legacy decided by this event. I'm, a, I'm excited for it, Lidicor. I'm sure you're excited as well. But let's talk a little bit about this matchup because we've got a matchup that is quite, I guess, a tried and true matchup. The Delhi versus the Holy Roman Empire. We saw it out earlier today on Danube River. And now we see it out here on French Pass. Now, one of the things to note about French Pass is the rush distance is nowhere near as short as a lot of those standard maps are. So this, this map has quite a bit of a roundabout way to get through to your opponent. Uh, so I would expect that this is going to be pretty favorable for the Holy Roman Empire. And I understand you agree with that. Yeah, I prefer the HRE over here. This being said, Beastie has definitely stepped up his Delhi game compared to what it used to be in Golden League. In Golden League, he was actually one of the lowest win rates uh, with the Delhi among the top eight players. He didn't really have good times with this Civ, started to step it up a lot. And he is doing the type of build that I love with the Delhi most. That is the very early mosque, so he's going to have efficient production and likely piety finished by the time he reaches Feudal Age, or at least piety is going to be very close to completion. Though he still needs to clean up some things in his gameplay, we have seen him in the previous set against Vortex, I believe, where he did forget his Feudal Age upgrades when he raged Feudal. That is something they probably learned from, though. I'm sure that there was a lot of people telling him after that uh, set that, hey, that's something that you forgot, and I'm sure that he's coming into this game knowing that that's something to pay attention to. Now, chat in Twitch chat has pointed out something very interesting on this map. We've got a moustache. We have got a moustache that has spawned in the form of a mountain range. Take a look at that, and that's not just any moustache. This is one of those moustaches that you get from those evil characters, evil villains <laughs> in cartoons, and they like to twirl them around. Look at that. Look at that mountain range moustache right there. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful, and I'm actually legit disappointed that this is one of those games where we don't see French over here. It would be so, so fitting with this moustache to have French available. In fact, a French mirror would be just so nice to see on this moustache map. I just, I, I feel bad because I shaved my beard, and now I don't get to twirl my moustache, I didn't want to throw I could it in. be doing. <laughs> I didn't want to throw that in. I was like, ah, should I throw in the fact that Drongo just shaved because he has completely forgotten that he has to cast today? But I was like, ah, oh, no, we've talked about this like five times already. Oh. It, it is the case. It is the case. Well, let's take a look at this Arkham Chapel for the Muslim. Let's give it a juice rating. I, I'm, I'm going to suspect that he's got a fair few resources in there. We've got the wood. We've got the town center. We've got the gold. It's about as standard as it gets. What other options did he have down here? He also had the option to go... He's, oh, he's also got the mountain. Great point there, Salami. He's also got the mountain. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's stacked right up against the edge of the mountain, though. So it leaves a lot less space for farms. Uh, now, he did have another spot that he could go for down towards the south where he's got berries. He's probably going to be able to push in his deer as well. Uh, so I'm going to give it a juice rating of 7. I mean, 6.5. I, I mean, if you are going for a juice rating, you got to rate it from, let's say, a scale of lemon juice to orange juice. But yeah, it, it's a pretty nice one, that's for sure. It, it, it's probably like a... See, the problem is, I, I love juice. And my, my fiancé at the moment, she, she's, she needs juice because she's pregnant. And so she we will buy like apple juice and pineapple juice and orange juice and the problem is i love all the juices and i drink all of them so i'm just looking at the muslim i'm like i don't know what kind of juice you are my friend but you are delicious yeah i, I gotta agree with you to be honest this is definitely a very juicy one a very sweet juice that is a very sweet spot out there for the muslim 
In the meantime, looks like Beastie is going for the standard Delhi stuff over here, nothing out of the box just yet. Whereas for the Muslim, looks like it is going to be time for professional scouts, Edix Mextra scouts here, and the upgrade is also coming in as we speak. Well, it looks like Beastie may have forgotten some upgrades that you would expect a Delhi player in the second age to be getting. Oh no. Uh, now, this is not the first time we've seen this today, and I'm starting Ouch. to suspect. Hold on, he's got professional scouts coming in, though. Are we looking? No, that, that's the Muslim. The Muslim's got professional scouts coming in. Beastie's forgetting same again thing. a second time. It's, it's the very same thing that we had against Vortex, and like, there is no way that this is conscious. Why on the earth would you not do anything with that mining camp when you can research that technology for free? And this is something that's difficult to assess when you're playing at such, you know, high APM and whatnot, because you are doing so many things, and when you age up to the next stage with a deli, you have to press like 25 buttons to queue up all those technologies. And it's very time consuming, you often forget about this one, and then you look back at your base and say, oh shoot, I forget it. But this is not the first time for Beastie, and it's definitely hurting him quite a bit. First horseman gonna be coming out, second one quickly coming up the rear as well. Looking to try and dish out some damage on these scouts before that professional scout comes through. And now gonna be looking to regroup with that third horseman and Beastie looking to come out in force. We still don't see those economic upgrades coming through for him just yet. So unfortunate opening for him here. Now it's not a huge, it's it's, it's not a huge factor here. I guess that's the, that's the thing. It's not massive, it's not absolutely massive, but it still hurts, right? Like these are free upgrades that he could be getting. Uh, yeah, it hurts, but it also hurts for the Muslim that he's being denied from those carcasses quite effectively by Beastie. And the thing is that you invested into professional scouts, you, so you gotta capitalize on it. You gotta get some sort of return value for yourself for that investment. And with both of the hunts belonging to the Muslim being on the north, it's relatively easy for Beastie to deny this. The first patch was picked up, but that is the easier one because the tower is closed. The second one is much easier for Beastie to deny. Still no feudal age upgrades on the economy department for Beast though, and am I seeing a lack of food here for the Muslim? I think he ran out under his town center. Beastie swooped up most of the sheep on the map. That's something that we haven't talked about yet. Yeah, he's notorious for doing this, and it's impressive how he does it. I, I, I've got a feeling that he just goes through and does like 15 to 20 random seeds and just looks how the sheep spawn on the map, and then just he knows exactly where to send his scouts, it seems. He's just always just on top of it. It's really, really impressive how he does it. But um, the Muslim now looking to add in a few more horsemen, but the horsemen numbers are dire right now. Two horsemen against nine. And the thing is that matching up the horseman numbers is just difficult here for the HRE because you're up against efficient production. In order for you to match the production of the Delhi player over here, you need a second stable. And also, you don't want to be consuming your food because you want to be progressing towards that castle agent. You see, the Muslim already has way more gold than what he needs for castle, but he is starving right now. Well, he's not really starving. He's got a thousand food in the bank. But he's lacking food for that castle agent. Right now, he's floating 2,000 resources that he can't really do much with. And he simply doesn't want to add more horsemen because every single horseman he adds is going to further delay his castle age. Well, castle age is going to be coming through any second. He's got all the resources he needs for it. In fact, is, is he just, he, he looked at, for a second, it looked like he was just thinking about going straight to Imperial. But uh, not going to be the case today. Indeed, we do see, is that a Burger Palace getting dropped? Look at that. Look how close it is to the front line as well. This is interesting because I, I guess the, the confusing uh -oh. part for me is that... Horseman will he, find he it. Would, he's, got the, he's got the outpost there, so he should be okay. Uh, and he's got it's the units delayed. to support. Yeah, it, it will be delayed. Yeah, this is... This is very, very curious. I, I, I think the thing for me is though that like, surely he could have just gone straight into knights and just been 100% fine, right? Like he, he just goes Burgrave in base, gets out three or four knights, and then he's able to gain control of the map, right? Did yeah, he need I to agree. go Burger here? I, I'm still concerned about this positioning over here because as you pointed out, there is the tower. You can't even burn the tower because you have emergency repairs out there. The concerning thing is that that landmark is getting delayed very heavily. And this is buying a ton of time for Beastie to get himself up to Castle Age. And you see, those villagers, they'll be idle for a long, long time. Not only are they just garrisoned inside and not building landmark, they're also not getting resources. And you see, the Muslim right now, he's floating a ton of resources, but he can't do anything with it because he's not in Castle Age. And Beastie, he can afford to throw away some horsemen on under that tower for the sake of heavily delaying the castle age timing of the Muslim. This is not looking good for the Muslim, man. Now, completely idle. The the landmark is not going to be being under or not going to be constructed. 
Villagers are going to be able to move out. Now looks to close in on that position. Keep in mind behind this, Beastie still doesn't have his economic upgrades coming in, oh. uh, but he is walling down towards the south. So it guarantees that those those relics are not going to be able to be secured from that position. If he wants to break through, it's going to take some time. But Beastie now going to be clicking up himself, and he's probably even going to be able to beat his enemy up to Castle H. This is what I was afraid of looking at this positioning over here. You see, villagers are also falling here. Sure thing, the horsemen are going down, but the Muslim is losing eco over here. He's losing a precious amount of time. Many of the villagers getting damaged as well, which is going to open up possibilities for future raiding. And as you pointed out, Castle H is coming in here for Beast QD, still lacking all the Feudal Age eco upgrades. I mean, uh, that gotta, that's gotta be painful. Burger Palace is going to get up, and with that, I suspect we're going to have... 15 have spearmen! Have a look how many spearmen in, 15 <laughs> spearmen are in queue right now. That, if... if okay, well, that, that is an impressive amount of spearmen. I'm just going to say that much, but Beastie also reaches the Castle Age at the same time, uh, and we are going to have relics getting picked up all around this map. Let's take a look around uh, the map at all of the relics. Just make sure that Beastie's got scholars sitting on every single one of them. Still yet to pick up all of them. We can see the upgrades now going to be coming through for Beastie. Let's see if he remembers the economic... He does remember the economic upgrades. Look, he's just... It's jogged his memory, and now all of a sudden he's gone, oh my god, those damn economic upgrades, I've just remembered them. Now he's bringing in the relics, he's got the first two out there. The sacred site is likely going to get decapped, and now the Flood of Spearmen is a little difficult to deal with. But keep in mind, Beastie is an Alp to Castlage, so we could see elephants being added to the mix. A couple of archers actually make an appearance here for a Delhi player, so he's not going to open up with elephants right away. He's going to bring in some archers to the field first. Sacred site will be decapped over here. But Beastie, he did a good job denying all the relics from the opponents so far. And you see that the food eco for Be the Muslim is still troublesome. He depleted the berries and he is a little late bringing in those carcasses because the horsemen were denying it for so, so long. Looks like down to the south, we're going to start to see relics getting picked up. Two have already been picked up. Actually, one's been picked up for Beastie. I'm not sure where that second one. It must have been dropped down. Yeah, it was dropped down on, a, on, a, on the north side of the moustache. You can see it there. Unfortunately, probably losing its life to a potential spearman or two. Maybe a wolf. But uh, more spearmen going to be coming around from that position. Remember that the Muslim only went for the Burgrave Palace, did not go for the Regnitz Cathedral, which means that he is going to uh, not be getting that extra gold income from these relics. And Beast is working his way towards a keep over here. You see, he went for the compound of the defender. He already has the stone he needs for a castle in a matter of seconds. He only needs 600 with that landmark. But he won't be able to drop a forward castle right now. He doesn't have the army for it. He's slowly adding some archers for the time being. And that is going to force the Muslim to respond to that. He can start adding men and arms. But I feel like for Beastie here, you could justify going heavy on the archer plus crossbow department. Because in that case, the only response that the Muslim could have is adding a siege workshop, which to a certain extent would negate the ability for him to just flood out army from that Burgrave Palace. That might be the best way for Beastie to make sure that the Muslim can't just simply flood him with units from the Burgrave. Yeah, I gotta agree. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, and we now see that fifth relic being picked up from Beastie. So he's going to have control of every single relic. Keep in mind, he's also got that southern sacred site. So he's gathering up 650 gold a minute at the moment. That's pretty damn nice. Pretty damn nice for him. Yeah, that's going to be a ton of extra gold to work with. And keep in mind that once you drop your keeps, you can start researching the village fortresses upgrade, which is going to turn them into town centers. So you could have a recovery arc or you could have a way to catch up in terms of villagers. Looks like the scouts will find the scholar over here. Volo popping out preemptively, but there should be no conversions over here. Still, the scholar should make it back home here without any major issues. And the first keep on the first sacred site is now going up successfully for Beastie. Second scholar with the second relic going to be making his way back. Three are already inside the bags. But now to Muslim with a potential push coming up on the north side of the Mustache Mountain Range. Looks like a couple of knights going to be able to force away that uh, that that little scout party as a wall of law coming down. Oh. Looks like they're going to be just absolutely surrounding that scholar and the heels coming out. Oh, it could have been huge, but he manages to snipe it out at the last second. Second wall of law going to be coming in. It's going to have to force himself away from that elephant, even though it looks so tasty, so delicious. More, More relics, relics coming in. He's going to have to dodge these right now like wrenches in dodgeball. Watch out as they continue coming down. There's the third one. This beastie is an absolute madman right now. 
He is using those relics to perfection over here. He needs to keep that elephant alive. That's the only real military unit that he has on the battlefield. He desperately needs it. And those Vulolos were able to save that elephant out there. Otherwise, the Muslim would have flooded him. This being said, the Man at Arms numbers are increasing quite rapidly now. And look at that, 16 Man at Arms increasing in numbers. Now pushing the base of Beastie and half of Beastie's eco is now idle. This is going to be really tough for Beastie to hold on from this position. 28 idle villagers. We can see that there's a single elephant out. Every Everything is being chased. He's evacuating the base at this point. No crossbows out. Crossbows are going to be really key here in stopping this push with the men at arms. But unfortunately, we don't see any of them out. And the problem is that popping out one or two crossbows won't help you because the crossbows are fairly fragile units. If the Man at Arms can close the distance and they can easily do that with their extra movement speed, they will just wipe them out. They already have two-handed weapons as well as an upgrade, which helps them wipe out the crossbows. You need a reasonable amount of crossbows, like 10, 15. And this is the upside that you're getting from the Burgrave Palace. Your military buildup is very rapid. And even a civilization that has great production like the Delhi struggles to match up with the numbers that you can pop out from that Burgrave Palace. Yeah, well, it looks like the Burgrain Palace is going to keep on pumping out units at the same time. Beastie is attacking over towards his opponent's side. We've seen a lot of villagers go down as the villager count slowly dwindles for the Muslim. He's down 13 villagers at the moment. And we see that uh, the, the relic in the center still hasn't been picked up. So he's got four relics in his possession with one relic just chilling out for the moment. And now we also see Men at Arms uh -oh. going to be cornering a tower elephant. Rest in peace, big guy. You lived a good life. You lived a happy life. But unfortunately, it is your time to go. Yeah, at least some of those man terms are now going down. Beastie Desperate needs to solidify his defense over here because he has had 20 idols for the last like two minutes. His food eco was an absolute train wreck, but it looks like it's going to be a tap out from the Muslim. Whoa. Good game gets called. The Muslim just knew that there was no way he could really come back from that. The crossbow mass for Beastie was starting to build. He was up to three crossbows. And good game gets called. Beastie Cutie coming out on top 3-0 in the grand finals. This is your first week on the road to Red Bull Wallalow Legacy. And Beastie Cutie is your victor.